All right, guys, it is now Friday, um, probably 2 o'clock-ish. I lost my wallet. I've been looking for it all morning long. Come to find out, Lita washed it in the washing machine. So I guess at least I found it, but I wasted the whole morning, like, coming out here and just ripping stuff apart, thinking it fell out of my pocket. I tore the trucks apart. Oh, it was a, it was a mess. So, um... All right, so we got that beam tacked. I got to finish grinding on this beam, get that beam tacked. Um, I was looking over everything this morning. Um, I see that I did a slight dip. So what I should have done was pulled some strings on this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got <laughs> stupid gnats. What the fuck is that? Shit! It's got a slight dip in this um, rub rail. I mean, the rub rail's a little worse than the C-channel. C-channel just, just goes down just a little bit right there. Um, let me see if I can see this, if we can see this beam. The beam doesn't look too bad, but uh, and that beam doesn't look too bad. But the uh, that C channel and this rubber has just a just a tiny bit of a dip. I mean, I don't think it's gonna kill it, but I know it's there, so it's it just bothers me a little bit, you know. So, all right, so we got that. So I had to go up and buy uh, two more sticks of three inch uh, C channel. Uh, I couldn't pick it up because well, my trailer's tore apart. So what I'm probably going to do is my buddy John is coming back into town this weekend. Um, I, I paid for them and they're just going to set them outside. And I'll either use my car trailer to go pick it up or uh, just have him swing by and we'll pick it up from there. So, well, it's late in the day. Let me get started and uh, see what we can get done. All right guys, so here is the problem I'm running into now. So I leveled up the front part of the trailer, which ended up pushing that part over basically like two inches. Uh, my driveway must be on level. Or, I, I noticed that when I disconnected it, when I disconnected that it, it kind of sits funny. 
So now we're like uh, an inch and a half or maybe two inches over and I can't seem to get this side to slide over. So what I might do is I've got some props up over there. I might try to actually just pick it up and kind of slide it over that inch. Um, I'm not sure, I'm gonna get my boys out here, see if we can't lift this up, cause it shouldn't weigh that much. And then I'll use a four by four on the front to kind of pry it over that way if I have to. All right, guys, here we are. We're to the point of mating these things up. Um, I ended up getting my boys to help me. Uh, my battery died on my DJI, and I usually use a uh, battery pack, and it just keeps that thing running. But uh, for some reason, that battery pack's not wanting to charge. Oh, I could probably stretch that extension cord and plug it in. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do that for you guys. But uh, so I did those marks, like I was saying, so that we can make sure this thing is exactly right. So what I did was I measured from that bulkhead back and I did uh, two random measurements. I think it was like 15 feet and 16 feet, something like that. So I'm now to the point of making sure that this is going to line up properly. So uh show you guys the tape here. We got to move this back just a scotch right there. And then this is going to be, looks like 91 and three quarter let me yeah uh, i don't know if i could do this holding the phone oh i i use this strap right here too to keep these things pulled together because it kept wanting to uh just kind of pull apart from each other so let me see if i can climb over this thing let me set you guys down all right so we'll put this on the line and we are at um, 91 and three quarter. So that should be exactly perfect right there. So if I tack everything together right now, we should be good to go. So let me tack this up and uh, I can remove this strap and move around properly. And then we'll start welding this thing back up. All right, guys, I have I have the, the main beams tacked up. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see anything from this or not, especially with all that junk on there. Let me see if I can get a better picture. 
or something Don't hang with it Don't lie for nothing I see that we different You ride and I double my Don't do discussions Don't brag about I mean it's just got the slightest little crook on that piece that I put up there. It's hard because these are just a tad bit wider than what was on the trailer, so it's hard to completely make it completely straight. Let's see if we can get a shot of those rails. Let's see. You guys can see how straight those rails are. Let me see if I can shoot from the front to the back, see if that's any better for you guys. But uh so I've used up all my plasma consumables. Uh, so I don't, I should have more coming in tomorrow from Amazon. Um, these are all the joints. Pretty happy with that. Uh, see if I can get a better point of view coming back this way on all this. See if that does anything. Can you guys see anything with that? I don't know. I think I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, it's, uh... I'm a perfectionist, so there are a little bit of little kinks in them, but I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. Honestly, that uh, there was a piece of C channel that I put in the back there that was bent from it was just bent from when I got it. So, see, I don't know if you guys can see that one's just got a little bit of a crook, but all the uh, rails seem like they're all straight. Um, if I had it to do all over again, I'd probably pull strings on this. That's how you do masonry work. You pull strings on all your, on all your work to make sure everything's straight. But, it's so hard to tell because I, I looked over this trailer really good before I even started this. And even some of these beams were just, were just twisted from, I don't know if it was from them welding on it and the heat just kind of twisting them around or what. But, uh. So like I said, I ordered three uh, more three inch. Um, I had to get some more flat bar. Uh, that's the paint. Hope it matches uh, Big Texas a little a little decently. Um, I'm gonna have to strip all that rust off and paint it. But uh, yeah, that's it. It's all tacked up, guys. So I'm going to run some beads around and um, see another thing. I, I can't go get that three inch until my buddy gets home. So I won't be able to box in the insides like we did on the back. But I can throw the plates on out here. So, Alright, let me get to work.
Pop Cholo. Rain drop, drop top, drop top, top. smoking no cook in the hot box. Fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Cooking up dope in the crock pot. We came from nothing to something, nigga. Hey. I don't try no.